Okay. Okay, ma. I'll try my best to be brief. Okay, this is a test strip. This right here is a test strip. Now, this is the part, this is the point where you are going to hold so as to give you allowance to dip into the sample. Now, <clears throat> what you have to do is when you hold it in that position in this piece you have here in this in this in the test strip, you hold it, you then dip into the sample. When you dip into the sample, you dip for two seconds, then you bring out the test strip. Allow it to stand for 15 minutes. Only 15 minutes or more. That's when you start noticing the changes in the color. Now, the changes in the color allows you to have a better reading. Now, when you look at the strip, if you can see it clearly, these colorations you're seeing here in the bottle is like a chart that tells you the level of total chlorine, that tells you the level of free chlorine, pH, total alkalinity, total hardness, and cyanuric acid. Now, when you compare it closely, you see that the first one here is total chlorine. How do I know this? Is because they gave you a chart. This is like a chart. You see, TC is total chlorine. This is what? Free chlorine. That's residual chlorine. Then, this is pH. This is alkalinity. This is total hardness and the cyanuric acid. So, if you keep your sample strip like this, this is how you know that the first one at the top is total chlorine. Now, your thumb still holding the test strip. You then compare to see the color change now the first one total chlorine is changing to pink but it is lighter than the color that is in there which is 25 25 ppm that is the reading but it is less than that so it means the chlorine the total chlorine there is low now let's move to the next one which is free chlorine now when you look at free chlorine which is the second parameter there these are the free chlorine it's going from light green that's gone from light green to a thicker you know green which if you look closely here the, the, the readings here is zero zero point five or one one or two three or what six point six just look at it it's very tiny look at it in your own bottle then you see what I'm talking about now compare the color this color, as I'm seeing it here, it's in one. It's in one. That means there is what? Free chlorine. There is chlorine in this sample. There is chlorine in this water sample. Now, you go to the next one. The reading here is pH. The next one, the third one from one to three is pH. Now, all you have to do is look at the change in color. The change in color tells you the level of pH. If it is acidic, if this water sample is acidic or not. Now, if you look at it closely, you see that the pH has gone from 6.2 to 6.8 and it's even going. Now, I have another text strip here, which I did before. The pH is, is 7 point. It has gone to 7.6. It means that this water, the pH is good. That That is, the water is not acidic and it's not too basic too. So it is good for drinking. Now, the next one is total alkalinity. The total alkalinity can also be seen from the color change. Now, from zero, you see that it is very low. That's what they are telling you there. Then, the next one is 40, which is low. The next one following 40 is 80. Then the next one following 80 is 120. Then you have 180. Then you have 200. Now, looking at the changes here, 
you see that the uh, the total alkalinity is very high because it is about 200 from this test strip from the from the result this test strip is giving me is about 200 meaning it is very high now if it, it depends on what you are doing what you are testing for you understand depends on what you are testing for and the result you want but basically if you just if you're just testing it gives you the result just by comparing the test strip here with a color change with a chart that you find in this bottle now the next one is total hardness the hardness of this water is 50 because that is the color it is showing me now with my own eyes if you can see it clearly if I come closer if you can see it clearly it is 50 this is the total hardness it has reading 0 50 100 250 500 and 1000 but it is 50 which is low it is very low it is very low the total hardness is low that means the water is good now you also have the cyanuric acid and the cyanuric acid here is okay which is is between 30 to 50 that is the color change here so basically just dipping this test strip into this sample you dip it into the sample for two seconds you bring it out you allow to stay for 15 seconds then before you start comparing the readings here in this chart you start to compare the readings here to get the result if you look at the bottle well they even explained it here he said you dip for two seconds the next step is to allow it to stand for 15 seconds then you check the readings so this is how to check to use this test strip this um test strip for pool and water that has six parameters so i hope i've done a good job by explaining you know demonstrating how to use this it's basically simple when you open when you get a, a an op, an op, an on open one like this you see this mark here this is the mark you tear out when you tear the mark out you bring out the test strip this way so you bring out one once you bring out one you're already holding it at the tip at the point where you're supposed to hold it you're already holding it at the point where you're supposed to hold it next thing to do is just to bring your sample you dip see you dip for two seconds allow it to stand for 15 seconds then you compare the color change to get your results then you record your results thank you very much